think I'm taking my hair out. <sighs> All right. Hi. All right. I had to take my hair out. I just got home. How are you? How is everyone? Hopefully you are all well. Well, well, well. Okay. Now, let me get this up. <sighs> oh, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. All right, hang on. Let me mute myself. Ew, it's going to come up. I know it. Oh, you know. Instead of stopping talking. All right. Now, let's see. I know I'm talking. It sounds like I'm talking to myself. Hold on. I got to show you. I don't know if you can see. See Kitty under the light. So she's um, a very uh, shy kitty. I'm surprised she's not running already, but... <laughs> All right, so hi everyone. Let me say hello. Hi Shauna. Hi Tyler. Jack, Nessie. Hello, hello. Hi Amber and Dylan, Delia. Got some news about Red Room. You did? What? What's the news? Hi Johnny Dragon. Hi Emma. Just popped on and dumped a dish of ice cream on the floor. Oh no. <laughs> oh, don't you hate when that happens? What's the news? I hope it's not really bad. Please tell me it's not really bad. I need some things to go right. Please, please. I'm going to put the link for what we are doing in the chat right now. That is the link for the book that I'm going to be showing. I have not seen it yet. I um, It came in like kind of a, you know, a um, bag like Amazon Prime almost. Um, but it came from Australia, and so I haven't opened it yet. I put it in my work bag, and I kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of starting to rip apart because it's tissue paper, but I, I'm really excited to see this one. So, Delia, what do you think of the new Penny Dreadful season trailer? <gasps> what? Do I know about the new Penny Dreadful season trailer? I do not. Now I have to go find it. I've been crying for days, to be honest, even though I barely know her. She tried to kill herself recently, and her heart failed in the process, and she's in a coma, but is stable. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Uh. How did you find this out? If she's in a coma, how do you know her personally? It's called Penny Dreadful City of Angels. I will look that up. Oh, I feel so bad. Is there someone that we can contact to say, you know, we're sending our love? Oh, That's just awful. She lives near to me. I met her. Aww. Is there anyone that we can contact? Like, do you, are you in touch with their family or anything? Is there anyone we can contact to say, you know, keep us in touch and we're sending energy? Get a hold of me. Are you on our Facebook, honey? Or are you on Facebook? If not, let me put my personal email on here. There's my email. So email me and um, let me know because you may not want to do it on this, you know, thing. I know. That's just horrible. I talked to her brother on Facebook. I believe her Facebook is on the group. Ah, that's awful. 
All right, I have to compartmentalize today. I That just makes me feel horrible, but we will um, send her energy and I will add her to the Reiki basket, which is right here, and um, see what we can do. I lost my spiritual father on Friday morning. I'm sorry, honey. Friday was one of those days. Dana, that's when Dana's father-in-law died too. All right, so um, several things. There's lots of stuff going on uh, with the channel, with the Facebook group. Um, we're kind of reworking things and trying to organize things a little bit better. There's a poll that Pat put up on the Facebook group right now. What's with all that stuff around you? Oh, chaos. Hello, welcome. That's okay. I, I you know, I want to be updated about that stuff. All the stuff around me, yeah, this is because we have, you know, nine people living here now. And so everything's kind of shoved in. <laughs> um, so that's in the spring. I hope to be able to go through some more of that stuff and get things situated a little better. But uh, Pat put a poll up in the Facebook group for us um about uh because i had talked about my goddess series i want to get going on my goddess series again um and so people can vote for what goddess uh we should talk about next hi honey owlette um and uh actually i just had a thought i was trying to figure out how to do the um the initiation we had talked about doing like an initiation ceremony a self-dedication ceremony and so if you are interested in that, you are going to need to be on Facebook for that, though, um, because uh, I'm going to make kind of a separate event for the initiation. And I'm going to be sharing. Um, I'm going to make up like worksheets and stuff like that. Keep your eyes out for more polls and posts. Yes, Pat and um, Stephen and Shauna and my admins are going to help me get a little bit more organized with things. Um, I'm going to stay with her tonight. Right now, please, if you believe in any God, pray for her. If you don't, just keep her in your thoughts. Absolutely. I know. She is such, such a sweet girl and... So I hope she gets out of this. I wish we could do something. I don't know. I got to think about it. But um, So where am I? Squirrel. Um, oh, the initiation. So I'm going to be making up an initiation um, event. And if you are interested in doing a self-dedication, uh, self-initiation, uh, I'm going to do an initiation ritual live on Ostara. Uh, and you will need to have been in the event and completed the worksheets and the, um, the self-work that needs to be done before you uh, initiate yourself into your craft. Honey, I'll let it's... Uh, uh, do you remember talking to Red Room? Red Room was in here um, for a couple months at least, like three, four months. And we got her on the Facebook page and stuff. She um, tried to kill herself and she's in a coma. Which is horrible. Yeah. I know, I feel so bad. Um, so, uh, keep an eye out this weekend. I'm sure I will kind of make up that event because there's going to be a lot of things that need to be done in order to, um, get through everything for the self-initiation or for the self-dedication for the initiation. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and I know she is so sweet. I just love her and her energy. I miss her on here. Okay. So I'm going to do the unboxing, uh, unbagging on the reveal <laughs> of uh, Magic, which is from Crafting Witch. Uh, again, this is, I know, hi Ravenheart. I know, me too. I agree. I kind of feel like, where has she been? And, uh, um. This, I'm kind of really excited about this book. This is from a witch in Australia. And this is a project that I backed on Kickstarter. 
Um, and it looks really, really super good. So I'm really psyched to finally be able to see it. And ta-da! So here's the front of the book. I think this is going to be a really cute, cute book. And I may use some of it for self-initiation. So this is like the little packet of extra stuff. Hi, Donna. Um, get it open. And then we'll look at the book. Hi, Kay. Before the end. Yes, you did. Yay. You're here. So this is a little sticker that is the moon. Hi, Raven Crow. That's cool. Oh, I like that. And there's a bookmark from Crafting Witch. And a thank you card. And then here's all her information, which it will not. There you go. Quickly. Oh, she even has a YouTube page. All right, now I'm curious. I'm going to have to look up her YouTube page to see what her YouTube page is. Yay. All right, so this book looks really good. I'm really psyched. It's really cute to begin with. I don't have my glasses out. Uh-oh. I love that it's going to be mostly black pages. Um, I don't know. That aesthetic always looks really neat to me. So they have some about the author. Oh, look at her. She's super cute. Her name is Kyla Little. And um, she's a young self-taught artist and witch from Australia. Love it. Oh, that's super cute. Look at <laughs> Or in the bathtub. So this is going to be some good information, I believe. Um, woo! She has a quote from Paolo Coelho, who I love. You guys know we, we read a whole bunch of and never finished. The Alchemist. I'm not a squirrel at all, am I? Um, from Paolo Coelho. Uh, and she has a quote from Paolo Coelho right in the beginning here. To me, a witch is a woman that is capable of letting her intuition take hold of her actions, that communes with her environment, that isn't afraid of facing challenges. Mama, I will help with the initiation event if needed. Awesome. I will need everybody's help, I bet, because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of work. I'm really excited for it, actually. I have some really good ideas. I do my best thinking in the car, which then is bad because then by the time I get home, sometimes I forget. <laughs> Hi, Finesse, which is why now I'm going to start talking into my phone, um, which, you know, then at least we'll put it into the group so I can go back and look at it. So you all in my admin chat, you guys all get all kinds of weird messages and stuff. Just get used to it. Some of it will be stuff I may never do. And some of it will be interesting, brilliant ideas. I always wonder how many ideas I lost because I forgot by the time I get home. Like every day almost, I think on the way to work. When is the initiation event? It's going to take place uh, on Ostara. But until then, there will be an event on Facebook to because we'll have homework and stuff that needs to be done because in order to do a self-dedication initiation, um, there's some spiritual work that you have to make sure that you have done for yourself before you can say, yes, this is the path I want to be in and I'm going to dedicate myself to it. Hi, paperback. And I totally lost what I was saying. Shit. Now I was talking about squirreling and then... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, I'll get there. <laughs> All right. Um, in the car. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Every day on my way to work, I think about looking up, um, what do you call them, vanity license plates for Mama Squirrel. And then by the time I get to work, I forget about it. Or by the time I get home, I forget about it. 
So it's probably been at least three weeks that I've had that idea. And I haven't ever looked it up, like how much vanity plates are and how do you go about doing it in New York State and all that kind of stuff. By the time I get home, I forget about it. So, <laughs> which I almost did again. All right, so here is the first page. Look at these pages. First of all, I love this style of artist. So that will be the first step in making a dedication the event post. Yes, that will be the first step. And then from there, I'm going to be posting. It'll be like homework that you have to do. It'll It's going to be like a real class. And you will have to do some homework kind of things. And it's not... Um, you know, it's not homework that is, I don't know, like it's not math homework that you have to do. Yes, it will start on my Facebook. Yep. Uh, it will be inner homework. So, and things that, you know, what, what, uh, like right off the top of my head, I can think of when I did my initiation, the things I had to answer for myself with my uh, witch teacher uh, was, um, which element is, uh, fire for you, not which element, which direction is fire for you? So for me, it's south. And do you know that? And north for me is earth. And, and so what I would say in the, um, homework is, okay, for most traditions, north is earth, south is fire. Uh, east is air and water is west. For you, what um, elements represent the different directions for you? And I want you then to go and do some homework for that for and to figure out and tell me how you came to that conclusion. Did it just feel right for you? Did you, um, you know, tell yourself to look at true north and then say, okay, what does that mean for me? Um, so there's things like that that you'll have to figure out spiritually for yourself, you know, what that means for you. Um, to know that you've done enough work, at least on yourself, to say, yes, I want, this is the path that I want to be on. And I want to dedicate myself to this path. Okay? Does that sound somewhat logical? <laughs> Hi, Punk Vegan. So here's the contents page. Uh, and the contents here are introduction to witchcraft, law of attraction, law of karma, casting sigils, grounding, the types of witches, cleansing and charging, casting circles, tools of the witch, the sabbats, days of the week, crawler correspondences. Yeah, that's this is actually this book is how I thought of in um, bringing some of this kind of stuff into the initiation is because I thought, oh, I think that this book is going to have some of that stuff in there. And so we can kind of talk about it. And I figured then I'm going to have classes for those people who are going to be initiated, who have decided to go through the initiation process. And you will get um, a link to a video that will be unlisted unless you're going through the initiation process. Um, in which case, then we'll talk about the homework that we've done and talk about the elements and talk about um, some of that, you know, back to basics kind of stuff and why that is right for you. Okay. Angelica, hi, honey. How are you? So history, history of the witch. 13 goals of a witch. I love that. That is something I have in my book of shadows. So this um, book, I will tell you right now that some of the information that I'm going to be using, I'm not going to go through every page. Jen, when will the classes begin? My guess will be early next week. I'm going to kind of start to make things up this weekend, and my guess will be early next week. But nope, no, no charge for the classes. They will be free of charge. Hi, Tar Apple. Hi, Danny. How are you? I be anything. I'm good. I'm I'm really good. I'm kind of refocusing where I'm at. I don't use Facebook. I know. Ugh. 
So uh, that's the only thing I haven't quite worked out yet because of the homework piece of it and because I need, well, maybe I could do it by email, I think. Pat, that's going to be your part because I'm going to make up um, the homework pages and stuff. And I don't know how to, oh yeah, maybe MeWe. I, I don't know how to then put that on email. Like we could probably do the class also through email, like send back and forth through email, but I'm not as good with email stuff. So let me think about it and talk about it, be anything. And um, I put my personal email address up there earlier. Um, hi, Rustic Hippie Witch. Uh, and email me if you are interested in the class and you are not on Facebook. Okay, we can do it in a simple document for format and then anyone can open it. That sounds like too much to do. No, it really, see, Pat knows exactly what I'm trying to say. Uh, it really, I don't think it's going to be too much to do. It's just that when I save stuff, I got to just make sure I save it into the right th thing. Or reach out to, yay, to Pat's email. Thank you. Hi, Dana, my love. Hi, sweetheart. Um, so I actually have not had a chance to post the, the updates from today. You did a self-dedication a few decades ago. That's awesome. 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 And nothing says, by the way, that if you have already done a self-dedication, that you can't do this one too. If you want to rededicate yourself, if you want to refocus, um, where your, um, focus in your practice is, that kind of thing, you can always do it again. Um, so Dana's updates from today are not as dramatic as they have been recently, um, but she does have now tomorrow, and of course, my calendar is on my phone, which I'm using. Tomorrow, uh, she's meeting with the radiation doctor, which I did put into the, the calendar, uh, and then on the 10th, she's meeting with the chemo doctor. Um, so... And I did tell her, Pat, about your video, which I have to, um, I did, and I showed her a picture of your new altar, but I have to cut it down a little bit because it won't let me send the video because it's too long or too many something or others. <laughs> Driving home now, be fully back here on 10-ish minutes. Okay. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> okay. So anyways, this, um... I am. This book is not going to be. You can trink it for me. Thank you, Pat. See, I should ask you ahead of time. He's good with the technical stuff. This book is not going to be required or anything, but I will tell you that a lot of my worksheets, um, or at least some of them, are going to, I'm going to get some of my ideas from this book. Um, so if you... Um, this would be a good book to uh, to get if you want to, to kind of follow along with the initiation process. Um, and again, here is the link, which I believe will bring you to where you can get the book. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now, it's a little... Pricey. It's $45. And then it's coming from Australia. So my guess is there's going to be, I feel like I got accepted to Hogwarts. My guess is it's probably going to be pricey to ship too. So if that's too much for you guys, don't feel like you have to. Okay. Seriously, don't feel like you have to because I'm going to, I'm not going to plagiarize or anything like that. Hi, Ash or Ashley. You're two different people. I have to stop doing that. Um, I'm not going to plagiarize from it, but I'm going to get some of my ideas from here. Um, and then some of them I'm going to get from my own book of shadows and some of them I'm going to get from a book that I was, uh, was required reading for me before I did my self-initiation, which is Phyllis Curat's book called shit. It's not called shit. <laughs> it's called Dedication? No, that's a different one. 
There's two books that were required for me. Phyllis Kierat. Mama is the best and most patient. <laughs> um, it is called, come on, give me the book. What the hell is it called? Hold on. I'm getting there. I'm almost there. Hang on. Witchcrafting. Thank you. Witchcrafting, a spiritual guide to something or other. Um, and it's by Phyllis Kirat. Here we go. I can tell you there's three main books that I'm going to be getting my stuff from. This is one of them. Um, I'm in an IRL once a month class and it seriously feels like I'm in hot. Yeah, right. What are the classes going to cover? Tyler, it's going to cover a whole bunch of different beginner witch kind of things um, that will, um, and maybe Ostara isn't long enough. I have to think about it. Ooh, just drove by a 78 Corvette Stingray. Ooh, I bet that was pretty. Pretty. Um, maybe Ostara isn't enough time, but we'll see as we go. Um. Yep, these are going to be classes, witchy woo, for uh, self-dedication initiation. I'm going to do an initi initiation ritual with those of you who are uh, enrolled in the class. Um, there isn't a charge for it because it's me. I don't charge for it. Uh, there's going to be three books mostly that I get most of my ideas and stuff for it. This is one of them, which I'm looking through today. Phyllis Kirat's book. Uh, witchcrafting, a spiritual guide to making magic, and dedication, which is by shit, Thela something or other, or is it Thela? Dedication. I posted the link to Witchcrafting from Amazon. Thank you, Danny. I know I'm on Thrift Books right now. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what is her name? Thera. Maybe is it Thera? Thyla. It's something weird. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, it's I'm loving the new route for your channel. Hell yeah, baby new year. Yeah, right? I know. We just needed to kind of reset things and recalculate and go back over. I wish you could see the dog right now. I've been practicing since I was 12. That is awesome. Then a lot of this will be easy stuff for you. It'll be just... Oh, that's so... I didn't want Amazon. I wanted my Goodreads account, because I know it's on my Goodreads account. Uh, a lot of this will be easy for you then. It's um, So before you dedicate yourself to this path, the idea is, or before you're initiated to um, this path to my coven, if you want to call it that, um, the idea is that you have done some work on your self-actualization, your self-spiritualization. Absolutely, Shauna, if you want to. I could absolutely see where um, Austin would be great at this. Um, it's getting because we just had the lunar, yeah, the lunar new year. Yes, 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 for sure. All right, Essential Pagan. I think it's under that. Hi, Donna. Um, Let me just get this last book up because this is the last one. Can I do this by title? Yes. Okay. Hold on. I'm almost there. Dedication. No, not Z. Can we start with A, please? <laughs> Sorry, I'm squirreling out. You know me. I'm so glad you all know me. De Dedicate. That's what it's called. Damn it, man. And it's by Thuri Khalifa Calafia. So here is the come on. Here's whoops, where am I? Here's the link to at least you can see what the book is. I know that's not the Amazon link, but at least you can see the book. Ooh, look at. 
Uh, this is just a beautiful, general, generous act. Hush up. <laughs> Speaking of, I need you to text me your address. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's the third book. So this one, the book by Phyllis Kirat, and then the um the book by Thuri Kalalifia. All three of them, I'm thinking, are going to be um, very good books. The um, the two, uh, Witchcrafting and um, Dedicant, those are the two books that I kind of had to go through that were required for me when I was initiated. Um, and so that's where we're going to start. Uh, any questions for now? I know this is supposed to be like an unboxing, right? I'm terribly sorry. Because I, I am. It spazzed the page. Oh, no. It's, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so bad. Hold on. It's probably because that is like my personal Goodreads thing. You used to have the Phyllis Carrot book. It is a good one. I have kept that. Um, that book. Hold on. Let me, let me redo this. Okay. There we go. Try this one. I bet you it's because I went in through my books and it won't let you into my books because you're not me. Try that one. <laughs> what? I, uh, no, you cannot have wrappers. I don't know why there's a whole bunch of wrappers here. Hint, hint. But there are. Okay. <laughs> so... Let's start going over this amazing book, which is the um, the idea that I got to mix the two is because there is a whole bunch of awesome, look at, she has spreads for the full moon, new moon, all that kind of stuff. She has different, um, here's the uh, moon in Pisces, moon in Aquarius, rappers, no, rappers, W-R-A-P-P-E-R, -P -P -E rapper. It's the dog trying to eat wrappers from the table. Miss the beginning. What's happening? So, Donna, I'm going to be doing a initiation ritual. And if you want to be involved, oh, look, tarot. See, there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, no, sorry, can't have it triggering a seizure. What? You can't have what? What's triggering a seizure? I'm so confused now. Yeah, numerology. There's all kinds of stuff in this book. And the other two books that I talked about, they also have a whole bunch of stuff like that. Still spazzing. Oh, the page. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. That page should have been good. Um, Amazon. Hold on. Let me see now that I know the name of the book. If I can get the Amazon link, maybe that'll work. Let me shut my Facebook and I'll shut that. Um, okay, so we are doing an initiation. Uh, in order to be a part of the initiation, if you want to initiate yourself to your path. By the way, just so everyone is clear, there's going to be uh, two kind of parts of this initiation, um, which is going to be uh, the first part is you are initiating yourself, you're self-dedicating to the path, spiritual path that you're on. Okay, there's the Amazon link, by the way. Um, the second part of it is uh, kind of initiating into uh, what my coven is, to the squirrel coven, um, which is, you know, the way I teach things. And... Um, Again, it's kind of your own path, right? Because when I teach, I say, this is what works for me and try it out for you like this. And if it doesn't work for you, let's work on it together and figure out something that does work for you, right? So I, I consider the Squirrel Coven to be a pretty open coven as far as what your belief system is and how things work for you, because that's part of the belief, is that 
Do you use Google Maps or Waze for finding your path? <laughs> I use the word, W-Y-R-D, you know, the connected universe um, where everybody is connected, the web of connection. That's what I use. <laughs> Um, so the, the, uh, squirrel coven is very open. So, but you can then initiate yourself into my, you know, worldwide coven after that. In order to do that, there's going to be, uh, some weeks, at least a month of work that that connection is unreliable. <laughs> it is not. You just have to know how to connect. So not unreliable it's very reliable you just have to know how to connect it <laughs> at least mama lets us have our own views on our path that's right she uses tree branches like any squirrel <laughs> remember not all who wander are lost that's right absolutely um so squirrel moment i know you are what was I saying? I'm so bad tonight. <laughs> if it works for you, it works. That's right. That's my motto. Um, yes. Oh, so if you want to do this, if you want to be self-dedicated, if you want to uh, have me be the priestess who self-dedicates you and then initiates you into your path and also into mine, if you want to be into mine, um, then there is, uh, going to be an event in the Facebook group. And if you don't have the Facebook group, uh, we're going to do it on, by email. So you can do it by email because there will be homework. The homework, like I said, is not going to be hard homework, you know, like in statistics or anything. Um, but it's going to be, uh, have you done your spiritual homework to know, uh, that, yes, you actually do want to dedicate yourself to this path, whatever path that is for you. All right. Is Mama is there to guide and teach and lead, but always encourages us to do what's right for us, even if it's different than her practices. That's right. Yeah, tonight I couldn't find my path if it was all yellow bricked and stuff. Oh, no. Can you use tea herbs in spells? Of course you can. For sure. Tea herbs are awesome because, you know, you can go down to the local grocery store and get chamomile, right? For sure. I, absolutely. Yes, please. Share the Facebook group info. Uh, yes. So the Facebook group, it, I please tell me. Can somebody else click on uh, down below in where it says information and you know, Magic Squirrels, Witchy Wisdom, and then underneath that, it says all of those links and all that stuff that is my stuff. And uh, the private Facebook group is the second link down. So if somebody can click on that and make sure it's working, I know for a while it wasn't working. So um, thank you, Heather. <laughs> thank you. Uh, just to make sure. Uh, uh oh, second witchy woos question. What's witchy's woos question? Okay, so we can do this to find out if we want to be to don't to don't really know what it means. Oh, if you yes, 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 absolutely. Um, you can. You mean if you're not certain if you want to self dedicate yourself to any path? Yes, you can do this class, this course, this whatever you want to call it leading up to the initiation and then decide, mm, I don't know if I'm ready yet. I don't know if I'm ready to dedicate myself to this path. Absolutely you can. And that's the reason for the lead up stuff. That's the reason for the homework stuff. That's the reason for the self work before we do the dedication. Like I, I was thinking before when someone had asked about me doing a self dedication for someone, I thought, yeah, but I want to know that you have done some work spiritually and this isn't just a here today, gone tomorrow kind of, you know, eh, I decided I want to be a witch this week. Um, or I decided I want to be um, a psychic healer this week. And then next week I decided that wasn't for me. Um, that's why if I was going to dedicate people, I want to know that they have done some homework on 
what their path is, on what they believe, on how, you know, the basics of how do I know what I believe? How do I experiment with a path to find out what works for me? I know I say what works, you know, if it works for you, it works. But some people have come to me saying, how do I know if it works for me? What is it that um, that I need to do to say, oh, you know, this is the element that I feel um, represents north. What, how do I find that out if I don't know? Pat's Tarot at Gmail. Thank you, Pat. So if you are um, going to uh, do the class and you are not on Facebook, Pat just shared his email. Email Pat at that email and um, we'll get you set up with the class that way. And then we'll be sharing some, there will be some videos uh, that we do together that are, you'll get the unlisted link uh, that is just for the initiates. It's just for the people that um, want to do a self-dedication. Um, Mama, off topic, Super Bowl prediction. So I'm really hoping that it's the 49ers because one of my boys is a 49ers fan. Um, and I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a big Chiefs fan. However, I, because Shady played in Buffalo and I love Shady. And he even this week talked about how great Buffalo fans are. He's not going to be playing in it though. So, eh. I don't, you know, if he was going to be playing in it, I would want Shady to do well and then still for the 49ers to win. <laughs> okay. In the Egyptian mythos, there's no element for North, so I would have to figure that out. Perfect. See? And that's what I mean, Serana. That is the kind of work that I want us to do together and to figure this out. So this is all going to be done on your private Facebook, Jen. It's going to be done through uh, the group page, um, through an event on the group page, and also we'll do it through email so that people who don't have Facebook but still want to partake, still want to take the class, we'll do it through Facebook. And then the other piece of it will be the videos that we do for initiates specifically here on, on YouTube. Okay, does that sound good? I'm already self-dedicated, but going to join. Never know. I might learn something new. Exactly. And that was, I want to make sure that's clear too, uh, which is if you are already self-dedicated, you can absolutely still take the, the class because there's always new focus to be had. There's always new things for you to learn. There's always a new, um, you know, a new light shining on this path that, um, that can help you in your way forward. Is there more information I can check to see if I can join your group? Um, explain more information like what? Uh, I just got a ding from NFL apparently. Cry Brady just posted a picture of him walking through the tunnel in street clothes. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Or Brady. <laughs> What's the benefit of the dedication? Okay, so that's a good question. Uh, the benefit of the dedication. When you decide to dedicate yourself to uh, a spiritual longing path, really the benefit of that is um, a... Hold on, let me my, let my squirrel brain settle on, on a term. Uh, it is a signal to the universe that you are serious about your spiritual awakening path, um, that you are dedicating yourself to becoming the best spiritual teacher, guide, leader, follower, whichever, that you are dedicating yourself to your own specific path moving forward 
Um, and it's a signal to the universe to say, okay, now you are uh, open to receiving more information about what your goals are on this path. You are signaling the universe to say, I want the universe to send me the perfect um, pieces of information that I need, the perfect people that need to be in my life to move my spiritual path forward. Uh, to It is like an energy shift of moving forward in a more individualized and focused way with the universe knowing exactly this is where I'm, the direction I'm heading and why. To answer a little bit, I know it's it's hard sometimes to, um, to speak of uh, spiritual things in a way that is tangible. You know what I mean? Um, yes, thanks. When will we know when it's going to start? Uh, this weekend, I'm going to work on it this weekend. Uh, and let's say on Monday, I'm trying to remember my schedule next Tuesday, I have, uh, my evening shift and then my class I'm getting taught and then therefore I'm doing Tarot Tuesday on Wednesday next week. So uh, on Monday, I will um, announce like the actual when it's going to start. It, it, I can tell you right now, it will not start before at least Thursday or Friday of next week. Yes, thank you. I think you understand. Awesome. Perfect. Um, and even then, I it will be open for um, probably a good week, week and a half to uh, allow people to hear about it and decide that they want to do it. It won't be open for, you know, just a couple days. It'll be a good week, week and a half or so before we close the, the you know, opening of the initiation, okay? Um, also helps you to get, to mentally get more focused on the path, exactly. And I know when I self-dedicated, it was like, uh, it was like shining a, a beacon to the universe to say, hey, I am interested in this kind of class. Nope, no money. I don't charge money for my classes, at least not now. If uh, Eventually, when I do classes in person, I, then I plan on charging money for stuff. But not, you know, when I'm doing this thing, it's not. Not for profit. <laughs> Um, I, but anyways, it was like a beacon to the universe to say, Hey, start sending me, um, the people I need to be in touch with to further my path. Start sending me the, um, the materials that are going to make my path brighter and more easily understood to me in front of me. So, and all of a sudden you'll notice synchronicities in life. You know, most people call them, um, coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences. There's synchronicities. How about removing some people? <laughs> you would be surprised how often that happens. <laughs> Definitely. Um, the synchronicities in life that will uh, signal your growth becomes amazing. Truly. But you can make donations to her and her channel. Thank you. Yes, I know. I'm. That's one thing I'm not good at. And I appreciate all of you for all of that is, you know, doing that. Give me money thing. It just feels skeevy to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard for a spiritual person to do that. So um, sign me up. Yay. Well, uh, you, I think. I think you're in the Facebook group, Elron. Um, if not, then email Pat's email there. Uh, I did a meditation asking for past life knowledge. That's awesome. Love it. Do we mark going on the Facebook event to participate? Uh, yes. Yes, exactly that. When I make the event this weekend, that's what will happen. Yes. So funny, I asked the universe for something similar about two months ago, and then I found your videos. Yay! 
I love it. Uh, synchronicities have meaning. Oh, so many meanings, right? Magical, meaningful messages from the universe for sure. Sorry, off subject. Reiki basket. My thyroid cancer has become a concern again. Oh, no, Barb. It's right here next to me. Hold on. Let me find a pen. Which I swear I should have 30 of. Oh, here we go. Right here. Um... I'm in. Yay, punk vegan. Uh, I love you guys, too. Barb. Hi, Roid. You are in there, sweet pea. If you don't have Facebook, please email Pat at that email address. For sure. Um... This is such a terrible unboxing. I hope this creator does not see this unboxing. This is not one that I'm going to send to the creator to say, look at the unboxing I did for your book. <laughs> because this is definitely a squirrel unboxing, right? There is some super great pages in here, though, I will tell you. Earth, air, look at there's the element stuff we we're talking about. Now, again... Part of why I like to do this is because a lot of um, answers, I'm reading fuck cancer and, you know, re talking, can't do that. Uh, a lot of authors and spiritual teachers and stuff will take this information and say, look, earth, the element of earth. So it is the direction, north, period, stop, end of story. That's all it is. If you don't feel like there is, uh, is earth is north, then you're wrong. And I hate that. Um, so it gives me an opportunity to, to say, well, that's great if that's what you believe. But if somebody else says, nope, you know what? North to me always really means air. Then that's, that's right. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm so glad, Miriam. I'm so glad to have all of you in our spiritual community. I really am. I I love doing this, and I love being um, the enabler for a spiritual community. So I just got a text from a good say, friend saying, I heard you're getting married. Um, Say, what? Sounds like my mother and my niece conjuring up shit again. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, yep. Earth to me is East Sea. Absolutely. And Tyler, then that's what it is. Absolutely. And North Air. A lot of people feel that North is air. And, and that means that you have done the work to feel that for yourself. Um, but all of this information is great information to start off with. Um, which is why I have so many books. I mean, I, I, when I say I, I eventually want to have the biggest pagan library in the Northeast, it'd be great if it was in the world, but you know, come on, we got to start smaller. Um, then, uh, you will know that I, I have a big library and it's because I want a whole bunch of different viewpoints because what works for me if I pick up a book and I'm like, oh, that's so not how I think of that. That doesn't mean that someone else that I'm teaching won't go, yeah, it doesn't work for me like that. Do you have a Patreon? So here's the thing, Susie. I do have a Patreon. I don't share it anymore because I don't do anything in my Patreon anymore. I feel kind of bad. But I decided that Patreon was taking away from my YouTube channel and it started to make me feel like, um, like if you paid me money, I would give you more spiritual guidance. And I don't like that feeling. And it's, that's weird. I, and I don't mean that the people who are on Patreon are doing that. But that's the way it felt for me. All this, like, I was like, okay, can I do more videos maybe for the pe people on Patreon? 
um, who support me on Patreon. And then I felt guilty for doing, no problem, Melron. I felt guilty for doing videos that people who weren't paying can't see. I was like, oh, I can't do that because you know what? Poor people are spiritual too. <laughs> And I, I felt too guilty to do things special only for Patreon people. It was just way too hard for me to do that. I just couldn't do it. So yes, I share my, my PayPal. So if you want to support me, awesome. I love you. I totally appreciate those people who do want to support me on, on, um, on PayPal who want to throw a couple bucks my way when they have a couple extra dollars just to show that they appreciate what I do. That's awesome. If you can't do that, that's okay too. I'm a broke witch. I, I've been there. I am a paycheck to paycheck witch too. It, it happens. I have to work a full-time job that I hate a lot of the times because I you know got to do what's right for my family too. Um, and so that's just what, what has to be done. <laughs> I is poor. Me too. And so, and that's why I don't do Patreon anymore, really. I have one person who liked the Patreon idea. So every month I get a very small amount of money from Patreon still, even though I don't do anything in it anymore. I just don't, I, I just feel totally way too guilty. And I don't like the idea of, only doing stuff for people who pay me. I hate that. I just couldn't do exclusive videos only for you because you gave me $20 this month. I couldn't do it. It just didn't seem right for me. But it's, the, again, that's for me. And I, I will tell you that I know a lot of witches, Avalon, Avalon Cameron, she's on Patreon. I don't feel like she's a bad person for being on Patreon at all. I think, you know, she loves all of her people and she does what she can and all that kind of stuff. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> After years of hard work and dedication, I can proudly say I no longer live paycheck to paycheck. I now live direct deposit to direct deposit. Yes. Right. I'm yeah, I, I suppose I'm with you there, too. <laughs> Hi, Lion. How are you? I did super chat once. I thought mama could get more with Patreon. I, and honestly, I'll tell you, uh, the super chat option is awesome um, for those people who uh, want to do it that way. I will tell you that uh, YouTube does take more than you would think. And so if you are just feeling generous and you have a PayPal, that's why I share my PayPal uh, down underneath. Do I? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm like, I think I do. <laughs> um, because uh, I get a lot more of it if you just send it through PayPal. But if you don't and you can't, I'm totally with you. I've been there for a lot of long years. I had four boys. So, you know, we didn't have the money to do that. <laughs> I love book crystal purchase to book crystal purchase and tarot, tarot purchases. Yeah. I get paid and I go, oh, what deck can I buy? <laughs> you can do a thing where you offer readings to certain levels and limit the numbers so you can keep it manageable. Right? I know, I know. You guys are, are too good to me. I, I totally love you all. And, and again, that's whether you throw me donations or you don't have the money to throw me donations, you just come on and say, you know, thank you for guiding me spiritually. And I totally get it. That works. I love that. That's that, as a matter of fact, more than any amount of money is why I do it so that I can say that I have helped people connect to the connections that we all are connected to, to each other, to higher power, to deity, to your spiritual self, to the earth, um, to nature. That's why I do it. So we're there. <laughs> all right. So 
three books uh, that I will be pulling from. If you're interested, you are welcome to, um, you know, try to get any of these three books or all of them or whatever. I always tell people, look at uh, your uh, thrift stores. Look at, no problem, Trish. Look at your um, thriftbooks.com. I love thr thriftbooks.com. Um, there's a lot of like used book sites at, at what's uh, alibis. I want to say alibis. Is it alibis? I can't remember. <laughs> um, but if you look up used books online, there's all kinds of sites that are really good. And thrift books and several other sites, um, you can put in like a wish list and um, aid books. Yes. And they will notify you if they get a copy of that book in. So the title of this book is Magic, an Illustrated Guide to Witchcraft. This is by Kyla Little. Um, this is a brand new book that just came out. Um, I just got my Kickstarter version. Uh, and this book can be gotten by going to craftingwitch.com. Dot .au she's in australia craftingwitch.com. and it's craft yeah crafting witch craftingwitch.com/au um and it's uh, it's a very good book i'm really excited to get it i'm excited to go through it we'll be going through it a lot uh for the initiation and self dedication uh the other book is Dedicant, uh, A Witch's Circle of Fire from Thuri Kalalifa. Uh, and the third book is, I get a lot of my witchy books from Bookmans. Ooh, I don't know that one, Tyler. You're going to have to send me the link for that one. I don't know that one. Uh, the third book is by Phyllis Karat. It's uh, Witchcrafting. Okay. So, hi, Carrie. Okay. Um, is that it? I feel like there was so much more I wanted to go over, but it's already over an hour, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, this is... A book that I ordered during the class I'm taking on Tuesday um, for the relative tarot class. And uh, because Mary Greer was teaching last night's, or not last night's, Tuesday night's um, part. And this is going to be in the initiation class too because... This is your tarot blueprint, um, which goes through your birth cards. So I know we've talked about birth cards before, but we've just touched on the very surface of what a birth card means. So once you figure out your birth card, it's like the Zodiac. There's all kinds of things that you can learn about yourself and how you learn and how you're, you look at your path through your birth cards. So that is part of what I'm going to be going through, too. There's all kinds of stuff I want to do. Um, we're refocusing our groups, okay? Uh, and hopefully you like the direction we're going in. And um, I thank you all so much. And I love you all. And tomorrow, what am I supposed to be doing tomorrow? There's something already that I was going to do. Shit. This is my lack of organization. Um, all right. Tarot Tuesday. We talked about Friday. But I can't remember. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, people. All right. I will let you know. I, it will probably be, you know, 730 is my normal time. I probably will start at 730. Um, thank you, Heather. Uh, 
keep an eye out this weekend uh, for, oh, shadow work. Thank you, MA. Yep, shadow work. That's exactly it. Oh, no. It's Imolk. That's what I'm doing. Imolk is uh, tomorrow night into Saturday. Now, I, I haven't decided yet. I may do a, a daytime ritual instead of tomorrow night. I may do it um, Saturday. I haven't quite decided yet. I got to think about it tonight a little bit more. I totally forgot about Imolk. Um, yes, Imolk is starts tomorrow night at dusk. So there will, we will be doing a ritual for Imolk. Um, I will put up in the Facebook group if it's going to be tomorrow night. Okay. Yay. If you don't have Facebook and you want to join the dedication course, yes, please email Pat at that email and, um, we will get it going that way. All right. You got your good tarot deck today. Yay. Oh, good. You'll be all ready to keep the studying going with us, right? Yay. Doing a perm on the grandson. Loving crafting a Valentine's gnome girl. Aw, how cute. Hi, Jackie. All right. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow night regardless, okay? Good night. <laughs>